Well, the Adventure Closet is officially east of the Mississippi. Um, we just crossed the Mississippi a little bit ago. And, uh, it looks pretty similar to the west of the Mississippi. But just because we were just spent the night here. <laughs> it's so exciting, though, because everything's blue. Like, as soon as we got to the Midwest, like, yeah. it's just all new stuff, so... Welcome to the Adventure Closet. I'm Liz, and this is Charlie. We are two 80s and 90s kids that never lost their sense of wonder. We're all over the map, exploring wild and abandoned places, discovering rocks, geology, and history of different areas, all while living and traveling in our minivan Opal. I guess you can say our life is a mixtape of adventures. So hop in the van, hit the subscribe button, and let's go somewhere. Lots of large trees. Out oh, behind these bigger trees. Yeah, behind the bigger trees. Uh, Duluth is 140 miles away, and that's that's about where we're headed. Um, this part of Minnesota is not as flat as uh, the part where we did the beet harvest. Uh, there's a couple hills. See that way up there? That's a little hill. <laughs> I know it still looks kind of flat, but I never thought that there would be so many trees here. All right, we'll uh, let you know if something else exciting happens. Keep seeing these big things coming down the highway. Take it up multiple lanes. I think they're giant ding dongs. You would. <laughs> Why do you think they're giant ding dongs, dear? Because they're shaped like giant <laughs> ding dongs. Like the hostess thing that you eat. Uh huh. Giant ding dongs. Uh, one thing we've noticed the Minnesota accent is not as pronounced as most people would, uh, as, as you see on TV and such. Um, it's definitely exaggerated on TV, um, but it is there. There is like very little hints of the Minnesota accent. Nice people though, uh, very nice people that we've, we've noticed. All these large trees that we've been seeing are actually, um, there's like 10 different species of larches, um, either in Minnesota alone or just all together. But um, these particular ones are tamarack larches, which are actually native to Minnesota. So that explains why we're seeing a lot of them. Um, and they are quite beautiful and they can survive really cold temperatures uh, up to negative 65 degrees. So that's, Pretty hardy. Pretty cold. They're beautiful. We are in the town of Deer River, Minnesota, and we're going to check out this Super One Foods store and uh, give you guys an idea of what different kinds of brands are in, in the Midwest and different things in the Midwest.
Bacon Miracle and Frying Magic. Why is that such a huge price difference between red salmon and pink salmon? So I haven't seen canned wild rice before, have you? Yeah, actually I've never seen rice in a can. Alright, so we ended up getting some Old Dutch Butter Spindles and some Old Dutch Caramel Puff Corn. Midwest Health Foods. Midwest Health Foods, yeah. So we're going to give these a try. These smell so good. Alright, I'm going to try them. They're not as flavorful as I thought, and not as sweet, but they're good. Let me try one. They're good, they're kind of light flavored. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're all right. All right, let's try the butter ones. So these are artificial butter flavors, so they don't have any dairy in them. Tastes like a really good pretzel. Yeah? All right, let me try one. They do smell like butter. They're not really bursting with buttery flavor like they claim. Yeah, I think Old Dutch is kind of exaggerating. But they are good. They're a good pretzel. So this is St. Louis Bay, separating Minnesota from Wisconsin, and it's also a part of Lake Superior, which will be on our left. Yeah, it'll be up here on the left. You see it? Yeah, I'll show you. Lake Superior. Wow, look at the it. old factories down there on the water. Oh, wow. That's cool. So this is how we get to Wisconsin. Yeah. State coming up. That is a food factory. I wonder what it is. see much from up here but we're high up above Lake Superior. Welcome to Wisconsin. Ooh, where's my hey. cheese? <laughs> this is the city of Superior, Wisconsin.
On Lake Superior. On Lake Superior, that's right. Northwest Outlet. It ain't the Northwest. It's Northwest Wisconsin, though. That's cool. Old Masonic Temple there. Masonic. Not Masonic. No. Masonic. It's not a massage parlor. We're headed out to Wisconsin Point, and look at, we're, we're gonna look at a free camp spot out here on Lake Superior. And that's what's happening. So it looks like at one point in time there used to be an uh, actual path out to the, uh, the lighthouse, but it is no longer. We're gonna walk out there if we can. Check it out. Pretty sketchy looking falls, huh? Yeah, lots of angle breakers around here. Yeah, about halfway there. It's a lot farther than it looks. That's uh, Duluth, Minnesota over there. Population 86,000. Can't forget you guys. thing is cool. <laughs> Got graffiti all over it. It's all boarded up, of course. These windows are bricked up. But check this out, check out this view. Oh, yeah. It's 
crazy that this is a lake. All right, let's check out inside. That's cool. Down below it here, there's a door. Ooh, spooky, Ooh, look spooky. at that. See that? Oh, that sounds creepy in there. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, how much would you want to be paid to sleep in here? <laughs> <laughs> Your shadow made it look really weird. I'd do it. I'd sleep in there. I hope you, I hope you guys can hear that. That sounds awesome. We saw the sign, Chippewa Indian Burial Ground Site. As I travel, I hope I leave beautiful footsteps behind me. Um, we're gonna go check it out. It was removed in 1918. This burial site was removed. To the St. Francis Cemetery in Superior. But I like how somebody has uh, crossed out was and put is here is the burial ground of the Fond du Lac band of the Chippewa people.
tourmaline. This is a gorgeous place. I'm starting to think that that there is just beautiful stuff everywhere um, but it's all in the eye of the beholder we seem to find beauty everywhere that we go and this is Wisconsin no offense Wisconsin people but coming from Washington uh, we we never thought that There'd be beauty in Wisconsin or Minnesota, South Dakota, North Dakota, pretty much Midwest. All just thought it was farmland and, you know, a couple lakes. <laughs> but uh, this is a giant lake. It's weird to see so much water and not smell salt in the air. Uh, Liz said that earlier and it's very true. It's beautiful here. And a piece of sea glass. And a piece of feldspar. I'm trying to make it flash like feldspar does. What you making? Some taco rice. Alright. In the parking lot. No agates yet. That's some interesting stuff. Those are pretty. Yeah. Here. It's starting to get dark and we found a bunch of rocks so we hurried up and we grabbed a bunch and put them in our pocket so we can look at them. I don't know if we can keep them but we're gonna look at them and just leave them here. But uh, just to get an idea what we're looking at here on Lake Superior, our first time. First Great Lake. Pretty cool. It's, it's quite great. I think our tacos are done? I hope so. I'm hungry. <laughs> There's the rocks that Charlie found in the dark. Yeah. 
drum. Like Jasper right there with the quartz. Shit's gonna wash me that. No super lights. <laughs> no super lights either. <laughs> That's what they should be called. Super lights. And there's the ones from my pocket. And a piece of sea glass. Oh yeah, no youper super duper lights. No youper super duper lights? Nope. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that's looking east on Lake Superior. I'm gonna pan around so you can see the lights of Duluth. The big green light that you just saw, right there. That's that, uh, that lighthouse that we went and saw. That is a large city. So we found that, uh, we can't stay here tonight. Um, there was a sign that said that anything past lot one uh, is closed after 11 p.m. We are at lot three right here. And uh, we think just to play it safe, we're just gonna go to the rest stop and, s and sleep there tonight instead. So we don't wanna have to wake up late tonight when a the police come by and say, oh, nope, lot one was included, or, you know, anything like that. So, playing it safe, staying at a rest stop, and, uh, yeah, see you there. Kingdom, that's, that's a beautiful walk because you get to pass by the Polynesian, you get to pass by the Grand Floridian, and, um, and you continue past the Magic Kingdom, you can go to the Contemporary. Yep, yep. You go past Magic Kingdom, you go to the Contemporary. Just all very lovely, lovely looks. Okay, let's get back to being silly and ridiculous. On our way in here, there was a bird flying by, and it flew into the side of the van real hard. Like, I thought it was going to break the window. Like, not even the front side of the van. It was like the very back window. I don't understand how that happened. Like, he must have been looking the other way. But we just passed his body, unfortunately, and he didn't make it. Um, so that sucks, and that was a very unexpected <laughs> thing to happen. It wasn't a crow, by the way. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't a crow. It was like brownish. So, sorry, Mr. Uh, Bird. Next time, well, there won't be a next time, but you need to watch where you're going. We weren't going that fast. And we're kind of like a big silver van. Hard to miss, but apparently not that hard to miss. So right now we're turning off of the Wisconsin Point. <clears throat> and making a left. Right here, there is a sign that says rest area. We try, we try to camp legally just to be um, goody two shoes, <laughs> no, but to, <clears throat> to set a good example because that's how spots get closed off is people camping illegally. Yeah. So we try to, we try to camp legally as much as possible. Yep. 
And it looks like we're the only ones here. Did you see any signs about stay limit? No. Okay. I'm gonna park at the very end here. So hopefully nobody bothers us. Okay, so we're parked here. We're at the last parking spot in the rest area. And uh, it's always good to park away from the easy to stop at the bathroom spots because you're gonna have less people pulling up right next to you usually, sometimes you will. Um, and <clears throat> it'll be a little less noise throughout the night. Like here's the, here comes a car. Yeah, see, so they pulled up pretty far away from us. So the unfortunate part of staying at a rest stop is the constant noise. Um, here's an interesting uh, road sign at here. Uh, go ahead and pause to read if you want to read that. But uh, some interesting information about Wisconsin here. Uh, another tip. You don't want to park where the semis park because a lot of times the semis will idle all night long and it'll just be like and it's really hard to sleep. Let's check out the amenities. They're open 24 hours. No pets allowed. It's nice and quiet in here. information so here is a map of Wisconsin and we are at the tippy tippy top of Wisconsin here right on Lake Superior so this is the UP this is part of Michigan the Upper Peninsula and down here you have, is this Illinois? No, is that Illinois? Yeah, that's Illinois. And over here is Minnesota, where we came from. But yeah, and then you have two bathrooms. And that's about it. Wisconsin Highway Maps. Well, that's kind of nice. Uh, we don't need one. We have Google. Thank you. As far as rest stop bathrooms go, this one's pretty clean. Got a handsome guy in the mirror. Drinking fountains. Garbage. Weird little square benches. Ooh. You could even charge your phone if you need to right there. And over there on that side too. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna hit the hay. Try and get some sleep with all this highway noise. When you gotta keep it free on camping, sometimes you gotta stay at rest stops. It's also good to stay, I mean, we could have found other spots, really like there's a spot like an hour and a half from here that we could have drove to earlier today. But tomorrow we're gonna do a library day, so we're gonna stay next to the city and uh, hit up their library. And then, um, Probably tomorrow evening we'll drive to that spot that's an hour and a half away. And maybe we'll stay there a couple days. We'll see. Um, should be in the woods. But until then, we're staying here at a rest stop because it's free. And you know us. We're trying to keep that free camping streak still on it after a year. All right.
Let's go get her ready for bed and go to bed. Good morning. I actually slept pretty good considering all the road noise. Um, we actually had earplugs. <laughs> um, and now I'm making breakfast in the Instant Pot. Just uh, running off the jackery here. Leftover dinner of the rice and put some uh, jalapeno beans in there and gonna have little tacos for breakfast good morning how was your trip to the restroom it's a long journey. it is a long journey we parked way over here so it's a bit of a walk <laughs> all right see you guys on the road Are you hungry? <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Superior, Colorado. Leaving Finally done at the library. Leaving the Superior <laughs> Library. It's Everything's superior library. here. Yes. Got the jack recharge. That's the important part. Oh no, the really important part is that we got a video done. Yeah. <laughs> Man, what a sunset. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. And we will see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.